I mean, you didn't shy away from slavery. I mean, most histories deal with the transat transatlantic slave trade, but you even went further back in time during you know, the Greek Empire. And why, why was that important for you? You know, one of the challenges of this book is to avoid the ideologies. Um, to avoid the ideology of the old British Empire, that Brit the British Empire was made by, by, a, by kind of amazing swashbuckling heroes, and to show the crimes that are committed at the beginning of all empires. At the same time, I didn't want to sort of embrace another ideology. Ideologies are straitjackets. They're the enemies of, of really good history, I believe. And so I also wanted to reject uh, the progressive ideology that, has, that, is a, that, that, that imposes yet another mythology onto, um, onto history. I just wanted to get as close to what, I, what we believe is the truth as possible. But of course, I am a person of my time. And that is reflected in the interest in slavery in this, in this book. You know, slavery was traditionally left out of many of the histories. You know, in the, Brit in the British education, which many of you probably also, um, also enjoyed in, in South Africa, you know, we were always taught that Britain should be enormously proud for abolishing the slave trade. But we were barely told that Britain was the leading power in the slave trade for a century, at the height of the slave trade, and that over 13 million people were traded from Africa to the Americas. So, of course, I was fascinated by slavery, and I wanted to, to, to um, show the Atlantic slave trade in all its horror. I went further. I mean, some of, the, some of the sources I put in here are so shocking, and I wanted them to be, because I wanted to show, um, I wanted to show what slavery actually meant on one of these estates. Um, in, in, in the Americas or in Jamaica, for example. Did you visit some in I did on the visit West Coast? Them. Oh. I did. Um, mm -hmm. I, visit, I visited. Um, I visited. Uh, I, I visited many places. I visited Monticello, for example, also, um, and, the, and, and the estate of um, Thomas Jefferson. Um, I visited um, plantations in um, in Jamaica. Um, so I've, I've been to these places, and visiting these places is very important. So I wanted to show that, but I also then learned gradually that the whole of human history is shot through with slavery. And then I began to think, you know, we're very dominated by the American discourse, um, Atlantic slavery. There's a huge industry now on the Atlantic slavery. Um, but I didn't want to be bound by that. And this is, in a way, what I mean by not being, 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 um, being in the straitjacket of a new mythology, because um, it's also not right to neglect um, the millions of people enslaved by the, Ar by the Arab kingdoms, by the, the caliphates, for example. The huge slave revolt in the ninth century in Iraq, um, the, the Amani Empire of, of East Africa, that many people who, start, who love African history don't realize extended all the way down from Somalia um, through, Tan through t um, Tanzania, through, through Kenya, down to Mozambique, and sent massive slave-finding expeditions into Congo and Uganda. And you know, the size of that slave trade, that East African slave trade, is, is, is actually um, similar to that of the, the West African um, Atlantic slave trade. You know, they estimate that it's over 10 million people traded there. Then there's the transatlantic slave trade, another 10 million people. Um, and then there's the slave trade um, that, that earned the name Slav, from the, the, the name slave, which was um, uh, the Black Sea, Mediterranean, Ukrainian, Russian slave trade, which was a massive slave trade practiced by many people, um, including people like the Medici's had slaves in their household, for example, that were from Africa and also from Russia together. Um, you know, one of the most fascinating personalities is Alessandro Medici, uh, the biracial Duke of Florence, fascinating character, whose mother was an African slave. Um, so, you know, it, basically I wanted to follow the rule, everyone counts or no one counts.